Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. I'm here in Sydney, Australia, as you can see behind me. Today's video is going to be on the push and pull with money, the tug of war. So many people, clients, even myself, we think about, we give so much energy to paper, to money. Yes, respect it. What are your beliefs around money? We got to go into several different categories in clearing energies around money so that you could be neutral with money. You see, money is only a tool, like a hammer to build a home. It's a tool. Do you have beliefs that money is the root of all evil? No, maybe you don't. Do you believe that if you're wealthy, if you're rich, you might not have the same family or friends close to you? You might lose family or friends? Release that, let it go, transmute it into light. First, you gotta dig into those belief systems around money. What did you grow up learning about money? What did you see around you with your parents? How were their spendings with money? What were the bank accounts? I can recall as a child, my mother balancing the checkbook and sometimes there wasn't really enough money. We went to private schools, a lot of money was going out. Three kids, all back to back. So you have to dig into your past to find out what your ancestors, what your parents' beliefs and energies were around money. Some parents, some children grew up where there's always enough. Enough money, enough food, enough vacations, enough clothing, enough everything. And what did they create? They create more of that. Okay? So you have to dig into your past. You have to write a list of what are my beliefs around money? Do I believe it's good or bad? Root of all evil? Do I believe if I'm rich I might lose some friends or family? Do I resist? being poor, let's go into the energies of resistance. Let's go into the energies of fear, unsafe feelings. You see, before I move forward on this journey to travel the world and do my work with YouTube, energy and spiritual healing, and doing people over the phone via Skype and things like that, I had to neutralize my energy with money. That's right, because once again, when you start your own career, no matter what it is, you don't know how much money you're gonna be making. You see, there's a comfort zone in working for somebody else and working for a company. You always know what you're going to be receiving, how much you will be making. Now, when you work for yourself, you don't know from day to day, week to week, month to month, and year to year. I am in the unknown, along with many other people out there in the world, but I had to let go. You see, a tree will let go of its leaf. Why? Because it knows if it let go of its leaf, it will have more leaves next year. It will have more flowers. It will grow. But it won't grow if it's holding on to all the leaves season after season. It's got to let go. It knows more will come back. It trusts. It's the natural cycle. We need to let go. We need to trust. We need to dig into our beliefs. We need to clear any beliefs. So any belief, as you write them down, you're going to feel where you feel in your body. And maybe you're not as empathic as myself. That's no big deal, okay? You're just gonna sit on that energy around that belief around money, okay? And then you're just gonna release it. You're not gonna go through one, two, three. You're just gonna sit with it. You're gonna feel it and you're gonna let it go. Dissolving it, burning up, transmuting, sending out into the universe and blowing it up, however you wanna release it. You're gonna sit with that belief. You're gonna let it go. DNA ancestors. How were your grandparents with money? Always a struggle, always difficult, always having to buy hand-me-down clothes, things like that. Never have enough to buy new clothes. Had to make our own clothes, okay? Then what happens, you're gonna notice yourself going to hand-me-down stores all the time because I always think in my energies and my programs and my patterns is that we never have enough for new clothes, okay? And maybe you even have enough money now but you still are in such a pattern of fearing that you won't have enough. People who go through the depression, also, they try hoarding the money, holding on to it. You have to let it go. You have to look into your ancestors, the patterns of your parents. You have to release them, you gotta write them down, okay? Going into that memory recollection when my mom was balancing the checkbook and it looked like we were in the negative. I would observe it, I would see it, I would worry about it. Okay, I have to go into that experience, go into that memory, and I release it and transmute it into the light. I let it go. All the fears around it, all the unsafe feelings, 
All the control, let's go into the energy of control of money. Not having control of money. Coming or going. Fear of losing your job. Fear of not having enough. Okay, you gotta go into each fear, just like you went into each belief system. You have to dig deep. You have to dig into these roots. You see, you have roots, just like a tree has roots. And you have to get these weeds out of your energy field, wherever they stem from. Whether it be your ancestors, your DNA, your parents, the patterning there, okay? Gotta hold on to it. I'm afraid we won't get enough. We spend money on this vacation, then uh, we might run out of money, whatever it is, okay? So you dig into your beliefs, you dig into your patterns, your experiences, what you experienced over the past 40, 50, 60 years. Why are you afraid to go buy some new clothes or whatever that may be? You have to trust if you let go, more will flow. Speaking of letting go, once again, as I move through my journey, I'm always letting go of things, okay? Once again, here's a bag, all right? As you can see, I got some shoes in here. Yes, it's going to the homeless. I look for the homeless on the streets and I give it to them. Some clothes and a couple pounds or they have dollars and two dollar bills in coins here in Australia just like in England. All right. So England and Australia do have a strong connection. Okay. That's why the flags will resemble each other. Okay. The British, the English still rule over Australia. Not really, but half and half. The money has the queen on it. Anyway, speaking of money, right? There we go. Okay, you need to see it growing on trees. You need to feel that energy. You need to let go of things so more leaves, so more money can come through. Okay, here in Sydney, Australia, here in Australia, it is very expensive. Okay, people make a lot more money per hour, even at the minimum wage. That's why things are more expensive. Now I'm gonna touch on that. I just spent some money, the most money I spent ever, on a my next journey on my next trip the shortest trip but yet the highest ticket on the airlines okay and then i thought oh my gosh am i gonna have enough money to continue keep going how am i gonna review that how am i gonna replenish that okay just like gasoline all right i had to let that go that i don't have enough money that i can't spend that much okay because it's not gonna come back to me at first you take a hit, you feel that, right? I felt it, that's why I'm doing this video. I felt it, I allowed myself to feel it, and I, and I envisioned it just leaving, I let it go. You're holding on to it, we're holding on to money because we're afraid that it won't come back, that we won't get enough, we might lose our job, all right? So you have to go into various things, various elements, okay? You have to check into your belief systems. You have to clear the fear. Clear the resistance of being poor. I cleared and neutralized a lot of my energies before I took off into this journey, into the world. The world is my oyster, my backpack, my home. Country to country, moving around, being in the unknown, not knowing how much I'm making from day to day, week to week, but yet I'm spending it. Spending a little more than I'm making. A little more, probably a lot more right now. I am neutral to going broke. Okay? I am neutral to being on the beaches. I am neutral. I neutralize myself. I am okay with that. I am doing my passion. All I focus on is creating, creating, creating. All right? Healing, healing, healing. Helping, helping, helping. I don't even have a book with me to read. Why? Because I'm such in the creating mode, the helping mode, the transitioning mode, the changing mode. Okay? For people around the world. Hence why you're tuning in to me. All right? Trusting trusting walking the walk talking the talk living the dream as some people think it is the dream it is my dream my passion is to travel the world to be in the world not of the world but in the world and to do my passion in helping and healing people to bring about a sacred healing retreat known as the promised land also found on YouTube okay so I have a vision I have a mission I have a plan and I am executing you can't be afraid to let go. The tree is not afraid to let go of its leaves. It knows the sun will rise again. The sun, there it is. It knows the rain will replenish it, make it stronger. You have to trust, you have to allow. You have to let go of it so more can come through. What you worry about, you bring about. 
trying to suffocate money. Just let it go. I let it go. Spent a lot of money on this last trip. And being neutral. Being neutral with going broke. You see, I'm not saying that you're going to go broke by doing this. No, that's not what I'm saying. You see, if you have an energetic charge to a fear of not having enough money, a fear of going broke, a fear of being poor, a fear of not having enough money in the bank account to pay the bills, all right? You have that fear, you're attracting more of limited money supply, okay? You are stopping the flow of money to come through. Rockets of desire go up into the universe, okay? I always have enough. Marching to that, marching to that beat, I always have enough money. There's always enough in my account. Over and over and over and over. Like I said before, 17 seconds to create a pattern, to create momentum. Say it over and over, 17, 20, 30, 40, 50 seconds. Keep going. You think I'm not walking these streets, practicing what I preach? Of course I am. Over and over. Helping myself, helping others. All right, here in Sydney, very expensive. I actually came here to generate more money. All right, as I work, help and heal, I find myself spending more money, you see? Energetic charge, all right? So on that note, let it go and it will flow. Sydney, Australia, anything else? Um, fears, past experiences, ancestors, DNA, dig into all of them, write down a list of the beliefs, the patterns, the programs, the fears, okay? Go back into a past experience when you lost money, you didn't have money. Go into a past experience as a child, okay? Anything where it was limited, struggle, difficult. Do you have a belief system that you have to work 50 hours a week to make enough money? Do you have those programs embedded into you because maybe that's how you grew up? You gotta work hard to make a lot of money. I could guarantee you that there are tons of people in this world that don't work very, very hard, let's say, all right, but yet they still make and generate money, okay? It's their programs, it's their energy. It's what they're putting out there. A lot of people grew up with a lot of money, so it's easier for them to create it because they don't have fears around money. That makes sense, okay? The people who came in with programs and patterns and grew up where they were struggling, limited, a lot of times more of that's created. That's why we gotta let that go. We gotta let it go, we gotta heal it, we gotta change it, we gotta transmute it, we gotta change it and transform it. Okay? That's it and that's all. Mm. Yes. Money is energy. Money is a tool. Okay? That's all it is. Love it, embrace it, respect it, be one with it, swim with it, let it flow through you, in you and around you, be open to it. Be worthy and deserving of it. Go into that space. Open up your heart. Love money. It's just a tool. I'm not saying I worship money. I want to be a millionaire, billionaire. No. But we just want the energy of money to be neutral so it can flow. It's just a tool like your car, like your legs. They're tools. Love it. Respect it. Be one with it. Let it flow through you, in you, and around you. Receive it. Signing out, that's Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World in Sydney, Australia. <laughs>